Welcome back to this new inspirational video. Today I wanted to go over cause and effect as it was shared to us by Emmett Fox. Now he said the following, whatever you experience in your life is really but the outpicturing of your own thoughts and beliefs. Now you can change these thoughts and beliefs and then the outer picture must change too. The outer picture cannot change until you change your thought. Your real heartfelt conviction is what you outpicture or demonstrate, not your mere superficial opinions. Convictions cannot be adopted arbitrarily, just because you want a healing. They are built up by thoughts you think and the feelings you entertain day after day as you go through life. So it is your habitual mental conduct that weaves the pattern of your destiny for you. And is not this just as it should be? So no one else can keep you out of your kingdom or put you into it either. The story of your life is really the story of the relations between yourself and God. Now that is what he said, and he said a few key points here that are very important for us to grasp if we're going to make use of the concept of cause and effect in our own lives. First of all, I wanted to share with you the fact that years ago, I remember with one of my mentors, he would tell me about cause and effect in his own way, and he would simply say, Vernil, the only thing you have to focus on is providing the cause. The effects will take care of itself. So maybe you want more money, or you want more success, or a better relationship, or you haven't found a partner yet for you to be with and that's what you desire to have. You have to understand that all this stuff is effects. The things we observe through our senses that we enjoy through our senses are all effects. Now this is very important to grasp because it gives you an indication on what to focus upon. If our duty is to focus on providing the cause we're going to have to work with ourselves with our own minds. That is what will provide the cause in order for these effects to occur in our worlds. So that is how my mentor would teach it to me. We just want to focus on providing the cause so the effect takes care of itself. We cannot provide an efficient cause if we don't believe we can do the things we want to do or have the things we want. In order to change our beliefs we have to reevaluate what is being asked of us in order to succeed. More often than not, you will find people doing similar things as you and because they show they are succeeding, it automatically means you can succeed as well. So it is by evaluating these things that you will be able to alter your belief system so it lines up with your heart's desires. Now this is also another very important part of this whole cause and effect concept, is our belief system. You see, you can have a cause in place where you know, okay, I should use my mind in this way. I picture my heart's desire. I see exactly where I want to go with my life. You also feel passion and joy for it. But then for some reason, you seem to be kind of struggling and not really progressing because of a lack of belief that you can really do it, even though those aspects are already in place. By reevaluating what you are capable of doing, you will automatically change your belief system about what you are able to achieve. Now that is exactly what I did in my case. Concerning these videos, for example, for a long time I didn't believe I could really do it, or at least I would operate with the belief that people probably wouldn't really care, or maybe because of uh, societal programming they wouldn't be able to really understand my words about the mind, because it's so different than the normal average day thinking and conversations we have with people. Most people really aren't paying any attention to their own minds, let alone grasp the power that it actually has over the quality of their lives. But by reevaluating what others have achieved, I started to consider more and more well. For example, even if my mentor or other coaches out there are doing it, it must mean that I can do it as well. So what's stopping me? And then I figured out, well, there, I have certain beliefs that are stopping me still, even though I can feel the power and truth in all of this information and these teachings. I know I should be doing this, but yet I didn't believe I could do it. So that helped me back for many years. But after I changed that belief system around, I was able to offer the proper cause. You are witness of that right now. If I didn't provide the cause within my own very being, within my consciousness, I wouldn't be able to express and act upon my own dream. But since I've altered my belief system, I'm able to act on it as much as I like. And I will keep going and keep doing it and keep improving, expanding and magnifying this belief. Because that's all you have to do, really. So whatever it is that you want to realize, you're going to have to provide the cause for the realization. And the cause always lies within the own mind within your mind, so you don't have to stress over it, you don't have to go to a specific location in order to provide the cause. First and foremost, you're going to have to work with yourself, that's the main duty you have throughout your life, is to keep yourself on the right track. 
to watch the realization of what you want. So cause and effect is a very powerful concept in the sense that it will help you differentiate between what's going on in your outside world and what's going on in the inner world of the mind. This is such a subtle thing of life itself, but we have to lay hold of it. I don't know what your current circumstances are, because most of you I haven't spoken to, but I can tell you, you still have the same power as I have, which is to simply use your mind in the right way and then outgrow everything that you face. So everything that you face currently are effects. You see, you've probably heard about this concept before, and I've heard it many times, I've read it many times, and I like to keep reminding myself of this because it's so powerful. When I'm involved in something, and when I observe something, I can always remind myself, these are effects. So you look at creations that are already available to us. You can look at a movie, you can listen to a piece of music, you can look at a video on YouTube or wherever else you are watching them. For example, and then you can say, these are effects. They must have a cause. What is the cause behind this phenomenon? And then you realize, of course, it's how either that individual or group of people were using their minds in order to make it so. So how am I going to use this in my life? Well, you're going to have to figure out what it is that you're after and then understand the very thing that you are after for your life is an effect. It's going to be an effect. It's going to give you or bring you something that you want and therefore it's an effect and you're going to have to focus on the cause and that's your only work. That should give you great hope and sort of take off the well weight of the situation where you don't feel like I'm going to have to work really hard and like crazy in order to make this happen. That's not really true at all. Yes, your dream might be very big and might seem and intimidate you in a way where you're like, okay, it's going to take some time, perhaps. Usually it does. The bigger dream, the longer it potentially can take. However, that's not a fact either. Sometimes it still goes very rapidly for some people. So you don't have to really worry about that either. You're just going to have to focus on the cause. Are you providing the right cause right now in order for the effect to take place? So if you want more wealth, are you providing the cause to which that wealth can be generated in your life? Ask yourself that. If you want more success in your business, are you providing the cause so that the effect of more success in your business can occur? If you want a great relationship, are you providing the cause so that the great relationship can manifest and occur in your world? Are you a nice person? Are you a lovable person? Are you a loving person? All these elements are part of a great relationship. Nobody wants to date someone for very long who's constantly pessimistic and chaotic and destructive in a way. If you want to be healthier, if you want to lose weight, are you providing a cause through which the effect can take care of itself, which means you'll be losing weight. So it might mean working out some more, perhaps eating healthier if you've been really overdoing it. Maybe you don't really have to do any of it and it's just a matter of cutting down the calorie intake that you ingest that you take into your body that that might just be all there is to it for you again you see that's providing a cause and then the effect would be that your body would be healthier for example do you see the pattern here that's how you want to look at your own dreams it's very fun to do because it will show you quite clearly to yourself if you're on the right track or not and then you're making use of cause and effect in a way that it will really make a huge difference in your life so many times people will focus on the effect itself so everybody has a desire to live a great life to live a free life to live a successful life so they're focused on the effect only and they forget about the cause and therefore since they're only focused on the wrong part of the equation they don't seem to progress at all in fact over time it might seem impossible for them to realize their dreams you know why that is because the cause isn't in place meaning their own consciousness is not in alignment with what they're after it's such a subtle power again, as I said, but it has to dawn upon us that this is what will set us free. This is exactly what happened for me. I knew a few years ago I wanted to be a successful YouTuber with a different channel. Okay, that's an effect. I knew that. So I was like, I'm going to have to provide a cause. What's going to be the cause in this case? Well, the cause of the case is going to be consistently uploading videos that I'm passionate about. What are these videos going to be about? Well, I'm not going to stress out over it. I don't know from the get-go how many videos will be on my channel and what they will all be about. That, that doesn't even matter. You can run a channel for as long as you want. So I figured, okay, I'm going to focus on creating content then. I did it in the past with another channel. The channel grew. 
They became fairly successful in its own way at the time, and it showed to me this worked. I wasn't obsessed with the effect at all any longer, even though I wanted success on YouTube. And now with this channel I want success as well, I'm determined to make it successful. But I know there's no point in me focusing on that effect only and talking about it all the time. Making videos for example only talking about the success I want, that's kind of silly right? I know okay, that success will come into form if I provide the cause for it, meaning content behind this channel's inspirational and motivational videos. So that's exactly what I'm going to be providing for my viewers. It gives them a reason to subscribe. It gave you a reason to subscribe and to listen to my content because you can expect and know that you're going to find inspirational videos on this channel in particular and it will never change. I will forever be doing that with this channel. That's what it's made for. And so now I only have to focus on that cause and the effect of YouTube success in this case I know will take care of itself. It might take years, I have no idea. Perhaps somebody comes along with a bigger channel one day and it helps me out a bit, by a shout out or whatever, and then maybe it grows faster. But at the end of the day, it's about me, the content creator, providing the content that you'll be able to watch on this channel. So you see, I have it very clear on what the cause is behind the YouTube success. Of course, there's more elements to it, but this is just kind of a brief explanation on how this works. And that's what you wanna consider for yourself. No matter what your dream is, really analyze what is the cause behind this dream. If this dream were a reality, if all these effects were in place, great wealth, great success, happiness, a great relationship, great health, a weight goal, whatever it is that you're after, ask yourself what is the cause that will manifest this effect? And then you're going to find out the cause is always within yourself. It's part of your mindset. And then that mindset is going to inspire everything that needs to be done in order for that effect to take on form in your physical life. If you understand this, you wield the power to make all of your greatest dreams come true. And I hope you do. And I know you're well on your way if you keep studying this material. Just like I'm doing. And it's been working tremendously for me. And it's been working for others already. And I know it can work for you. And it will keep on working as long as you keep an open mind. And keep on studying the great truths that Emmett Fox and other teachers have shared with us. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.